nuclear talks with Iran unless tough decisions get made. Yet Secretary of State John Kerry says he is not giving up as two more deadlines for an agreement are just hours away. Correspondent Kevin Cork updates us tonight from the White House. <laughs> Groundhog's Day, as in another day of talks and still no deal in the Iran nuclear negotiations. And while the exchange was certainly lighthearted, the stakes are not, which is why Secretary of State John Kerry says he's in no hurry to walk away. We will not rush, and we will not be rushed. And we won't let ourselves be rushed through any aspect of this. Rushing hardly seems to be a problem, especially given the repeated deadlines that have already been passed in the hopes of forging a deal to limit Iran's nuclear program in exchange for lifting U.S. and international sanctions. But the window of opportunity is closing. If the tough decisions don't get made, we are absolutely prepared to call an end to this process. Meanwhile, Iranian President Rouhani today met with Russian President Vladimir Putin, a sign of strengthening ties between Tehran and Moscow. I must also thank you for all your efforts towards advancing the program of the 5 plus 1 talks. On Twitter, Rouhani's foreign minister, Javad Zarif, noted the negotiations in Vienna, but with a cryptic message, tweeting, quote, we're working hard, but not rushed to get the job done. Mark my words, you can't change horses in the middle of a stream. The vague expression about changing horses could suggest that the P5 plus 1, the United States, Britain, France, Russia, China and Germany are increasing the pressure on Iran ahead of Friday's new deadline. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill today, lawmakers express skepticism of the talks. The Obama administration has discounted the fundamental nature of the regime in Iran. Death to America isn't domestic spin in Iran. It's the regime's rallying cry. Strong words on Capitol Hill. Meanwhile, the White House tonight, Brett, released this photo. It's of the president alongside his national security team inside the Situation Room, taking part in a secure video teleconference with Secretary Kerry, Energy Secretary Muniz, and U.N. Ambassador Samantha Power, all talking about the P5 plus 1 negotiations with Iran. Those talks do continue as we approach yet another deadline. Brett? Kevin Cork live on the North Lawn. Kevin